right hello i'm going to be unboxing this mystery present that's just arrived i'm sure you might be able to see through the bubble wrap and see what it is well if you can't i'll tell you right now it is a micro mark easy fit burger alarm so just exactly the same as the one bb grooves had so um I ordered this off eBay a couple of days ago, as you can see just all there. Bit there. Oh, it's got that musky smell about it. I don't mind the musky smell. So, start putting into it. Well, to be honest, if you, I wouldn't worry looking at that because that in my true address, that's my mum's shop address, which is a public shop, it's a flower shop, so more than welcome to go and visit her <laughs> but, so put it in so here we are oh. yes he has got that musty smell which I, I really don't mind that musty smell it's, it's actually quite nice so there we are we've got the keypads the seller says this is never used but I'll be the judge of that to see what's inside. So, unbox it. Right, so there we are. A bit of a tatty box. Um, this has been took out the box. Keypads, siren sensors. So, you come here. Oh, more bubble wrap. I take it. Oh, these are the. This is for me. So, oh, looks like we got all the wiring. Oh, the, the Micromark Siren, wow. Cheap quality, very, very cheap quality, I must say. I, I thought it'd be, yeah. But these are quite, Micromarks are just one of the brands that are quite cheap, if you get them in. They're good, but cheap. So, going here. Got some very dirty cords, just probably due to being in storage and that. Got the very, um, well, um, what should I call it? Very plasticky siren. As you can see, there's, it's just, there's, there's hardly nothing to it. I think that's where you wire everything up to it. I don't know if I'll be using this, I'm not sure. But, um, it is very shallow, cheap plastic. Oh, a mini PIR, just right here. I can remember, um, I had a Micromark shed alarm, the one, it's not the one you see, the one that sounded like the AG6, it was another one. It, um, well, it, it was all batteries. It had an external siren that had batteries in and a little keypad and one of these miniature centres. And it, it did come pre wired, but I don't think this, this doesn't come pre wired. So we've got another sensor here. Move these out of the way. I'm going to keep all that because I'll probably just put it all back in the box. So we've got three core cable here. We've got a connector block there. We've got these two, just here, this very short piece of cable. I think that's probably for the sensors, I guess. Or, well, that is more than that, so. That, hmm. I think this is probably for the sensors and that is probably for the siren. Got a door contact, another door contact, fixings. Yeah. Right. Moving on. To, right, we've got the instructions here. Right. Ah, so we got that there snap connectors that's what that is so moving on to the actual ah anti-tamper spring yeah my god 
so it I thought you'd use a screwdriver to get into that but obviously you don't so oh yeah so I think this clicks into there well it does and then PIR 1 and 2 zone 1 and 2 I have no idea where the door contacts go. Oh, I think it might be one of them. Like you... Like, um... You have to choose which you want to use. You have use that or use them. Two zones. So, there you are. But, but if it's four zones, it's going, you know. Right. I think this is where the backup battery goes. Interesting. Oh, try and prise it off my screwdriver. Well, my scissors, not my screwdriver. Oh, yes, so it's a 9 volt battery. Probably doesn't pack much oomph. So, um, hmm, does look quite hard to wire up this. Hmm. Well, when I say that, I mean, hmm, considering it's an easy one. So here's the keypad, you've got the very nice buttons here, so um, there we are, but I've never had one of these before so this is a first for me, um, so there, there we are, um, I'll do another video of wiring it all up. So, um, there we are. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.